Are we live and in color? Yes. Hi there. Uh, we're talking with, with, with Kim and Trina, and we have a, a big announcement to make about what's going on in the wonderful world of dance. I think Dancing with the Stars has certainly uh, brought out a lot of uh, interest in, in dancing and things like that. And uh, we'll start with Kim. Uh, tell us about this new dance studio you have. Well, we are the contractor who were fortunate enough to build this wonderful dance studio for the community and for the owners, uh, Trina and Travis Dodd. And um, we're just very excited that we were able to be a part of it. And it's where? It is on Wilmington Island. Okay. What it's part? It is right off of Brian Woods Loop. It's in a subdivision, Brian Woods Professional. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Trina, tell us all about it. Um, we have been, the Gretchen Green School of Dance has been here in Savannah for, this will be our 49th year. Uh, we started out with one dance room um, some 49 years ago, and we've just been growing and growing. And you don't look that old. <laughs> uh, my mom started the business <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, 49 years ago. My brother and I have since um, taken over. She's still a part of the business. She still is there every day. Um, uh, officially, Travis and I are the owners, but she is a huge part of it. So. Now, tell me what is, what's unique about this? The building? Or well, the, well, well, the yeah, well, well, let's, well, let's go to both, yeah. Um, the building uh, accommodates now four dance rooms. We started with one. Oh, wow. Um, so we're able to offer not just more classes for more students, but more um, quality cl classes for our students who are offering longer classes. Um, we have a state-of-the-art dance floor, a sound system, that kind of stuff. So it's just a huge right. step up for us. Um, like I said, Mom's been doing this for some 50 years. So, yeah, so she knows what um, she's doing. Yeah, we're just yeah. trying to take it to the next level. Now, Kim, what were your challenges of putting together something like this? Well, obviously, size and money, um, and and yeah, what that they has a lot to do with it. exactly, <laughs> yeah. and what they really were interested in was the flow of traffic, how we can accommodate that, mm -hmm. how we can accommodate curb appeal with functionality and and that type of thing. And so, what we were able to do is we pulled the building up a little bit, put a great curb appeal on it, and the traffic goes around the building to a full twenty by twenty portiche for mm -hmm. drop off for, during weather and that type of stuff oh, to cool. try to keep traffic moving, the kids protected, um, that type of thing. So so parking is probably the uh -huh. biggest challenge in that area. That's, that's a challenge all over Savannah. I mean, yes, just it is. about everywhere, I think, you mentioned. Uh, Trina, what is the, um, what, what's the, the purpose of this? Are you, what kind of dance are you teaching? Are you aiming at the kids or are you... Um, tradi off? Traditionally, we teach uh, children ballet, tap, jazz, acrobatics, ages uh, two through high school. Um, with this new building, we're able to offer a full adult program now. So mm -hmm. we have adult classes in, in all dance styles, too, that we're just starting this week with something new for us. Um, but the biggest majority of our students are, are children. Okay. Now, do you find more more boys are getting involved these days? Because Absolutely. it used to be considered kind of kind of sissy as you know. They have the, the clogging people here. Yeah, we uh, have on a Irish dance, and they got one guy and you know an eighteen year old. <laughs> and that was us for a long time. But yeah. um, we have an all boys hip hop class that we've had for a few years now. Well, send um, up a flare there. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, we, uh, we definitely have a larger uh, boy. Um, and, 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 and tell people why it's important maybe for guys to, to get involved with this because I remember when Jerry Rice went on Dancing with the Stars, here's a star football athlete. He said, I've never worked so hard in my life. A lot of football players disc. actually take ballet classes to yeah, oh, yeah, for, for, their, for their calves and thighs. Yeah, yeah. and their yeah. balance and everything mm -hmm, else. Sure. Um, I, a lot of our guys that are dancing with us now, um, you know, they go to parties in high school or they go and they want to, you know, be able to, to dance and have moves and be comfortable dancing. So it just says a lot for their self-confidence mm -hmm. and their rhythm. And, yeah, well, you know. I, I DJ weddings for which I am I'm compensated, of course. <laughs> but uh, I, I see these couples especially... And some of them will take dancing lessons, so oh, they'll yeah. actually look like they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Others just sort of rock back and forth for three minutes, and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. Uh, we do some. We just had a call yesterday. Somebody wants a, a dance set for their wedding, too, so we do a little bit of that on the side, too, wherever we can. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do people get in touch with you? Uh, we have a website, uh, ggsod.com, that has all of our information, our class information there, um, or they can call us. And the name of the place is? The Gretchen Green School of Dance. Okay. Our phone number is 897-4235. Mm -hmm. And Kim, what do, you, what, what do you want people to know? Well, they can certainly reach us for all their commercial construction needs at 777-3404. Um, and we are the DeWitt Tilton Group. Okay, cool. All right, ladies. Anything you want to add? We're in a shameless self-promotion, so by all means, if you want to. <laughs> I, 
Well, actually, what we talked about, we have a full-fledged, uh, full-size scale um, handicap ramp that accesses the dance studio as well. Okay. So Trina is actually going to pitch and look for um, handicap um, dance. Um, that's actually kind of the next venture for them um, right. because now we can get them to this and, and uh, she can maybe take off in, in that direction as well um, to really be able to promote dance to all people. And, and tell people about the importance of dancing and, and learning how to dance. Um, it, it's such a great thing for self-confidence. Uh, it's great exercise and it's fun. Um, we've got kids um, who just dance for fun because it's the socialization um, and the exercise and then we've got kids who are aspiring to be professional dancers so we try to uh, make as many opportunities for whoever wants to be a part of this to, to come learn and be a part of dance. All right, cool. All right, uh, well best of luck to you because I think Thank this you. is this is fantastic. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thanks ladies. Thank you very much. Okay.